Come back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the advanced SFML game series and in this video we are going to continue with our game by creating a basic UI for our game. So we had a basic kind of point collecting system working in the last video and we also fixed some bugs but in this video we are gonna make it so that we actually display how many coins Mario has got on the screen because currently there is no way for the player to know that. Now the problem is that for UI we don't want the UI to be dependent on Mario's position of course we want the UI to be displayed on top of the screen and we also want it so that uh, the UI is uh, uh, always like uh, in, uh, it does not have a position quite obviously and uh, it's always on the top of the screen and also uh, it uh, has a fixed size regardless of the zoom level of our camera. So how are we gonna implement that? Well the idea is that we will have a separate view for this and we will render the normal stuff with the normal view so we will render like uh, you know in the game world with the normal view and then we'll have a separate function here in camera called get UI view which will return another view that we'll use to render the UI so in camera.cv this function all it does is that it uh, says say, view size.x and it divides by view size.y we just calculate the aspect and then and we say view size is equal to vector to f and we use 100 here so value is always going to be 100 and the y value can be kind of depending on the aspect so I guess that works and uh, uh, when we are returning the view we set it position to 0 since we don't want of course the UI to move and we also give it the view size. That, uh, if we set the view size here that means that we can get the view size in our uh, separate uh, function here and uh, kind of use it to position our UI element for example on the top left corner or something like that. So in game.h we have got a new function called render UI which is similar to render but it is going to be called at a different place and in here we have also got the render UI function. In main what we do if we clear the window then we set its view to the normal view and pass the window size to it then we render the game using render and then what we do is we set the view to the camera UI view and then we render the UI using the same renderer and then we display the window this will uh, be uh, of course allow us to kind of render the UI better and uh, all that's left to do now is to implement this render UI method and we can obtain the camera size to position our UI relative to the window for example if we want it at the top left corner by using get UI view but we don't actually need to do that since we'll uh, kind of always know the x value but we if we want to set it on the y then we'll need to kind of get the view size to determine whether what the y value is so yeah that's uh, that's pretty awesome so let's go under our render ui function and start implementing it now in order to display some text we need to create a variable of type sf colon colon text here which we can e quite easily draw using we can say just render dot target since uh, we are not drawing a sprite we'll use the target of the render and we'll draw the coins text here which is pretty easy so yeah that's pretty awesome so uh, this uh, constructor takes two arguments the first is the actual text you want to display which we'll just say coins for now just for testing and uh, the second is the font because every uh, text needs uh, some font to render it with. We have got a variable called font here and we just pass it that and this variable must remain valid for the whole program because it's kind of uh, only you know the coin text only keeps a pointer to this. So we go here and we say font.load from file and we load the font.ttf here and uh, this is just a file that I've got here you can of course use any file you like I just downloaded this file and we can use this to uh, render and uh, uh, we just set its fill color and set the outline color and set the outline thickness here the fill color is white the out outline black and the outline thickness 1 and we set its scale to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 because the default was too large and for in the in the render UI function we just go ahead and draw it so uh, that's uh, that pretty easy to do I guess and let's go ahead and try to run this and see if we, uh, it works or not so what you should see is that hopefully we do get yes the coin text is uh, uh, visible here and we can quite clearly see it and uh, that is pretty awesome now of course we'd like this text to be at the top left corner of the screen and uh, also display Mario's uh, coins uh, updated in real time so let's go and implement that that is all really simple to do first of all I have gone under Mario and created did a getter for coins pretty basic stuff you should know how to do that and for the text we just set its string to coins plus and we use std colon colon to string to convert this mario.getcoins which returns an unsigned integer and we convert it to a string and then we uh, kind of um, you know put the strings together and then set the coin text to that and as far as the position is concerned we get the view size and we use negative here uh, just because we want uh, 
um, you know it to be going the top left direction not in the bottom right direction the so top left should be negative and then we divide it by two and the reason we do that is that because we want uh, uh, it to only go up half of the screen since it's in the middle and we want it at the top left and uh, then we add this value because of course we don't want it exactly to the top left so I added a little offset and uh, this is a value ju just I found out by kind of trying different things so you can choose any value here you like uh, depending on how far you want uh, your text to be and of course you can position this text in whatever way you see fit and uh, we have also set the string here and that's that pretty much all we need to do so let's go ahead and run this and see if it works I also changed the font to a more you know kind of nostalgic font a bit so yeah let's go ahead and try that out and what you should see is that uh, Mario does appear and uh, you can see that coins uh, zero uh, colon zero is showing there and as soon as I go and collect one coin it changes to one and if I collect more coins it will uh, increase uh, and uh, it should pretty much work without any problems uh, yes it does work and uh, if I go ahead and uh, select all of those coins you can see it says coins uh, corner 15 and, um, and if I keep collecting coins it will keep updating it in real time so we have got a basic and of course wherever we move the UI always stays the same so we have got a basic uh, kind of working thing here with uh, Mario moving around and kind of oh, it's pretty awesome so yeah that's uh, that pretty much it for this video I'll see you in the next one in which we will make uh, more stuff in our game so stay tuned for that I'll see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and bye